Proposed offshore wind farm is on a collision course with a group of LBI residents who are suing the government over what they say was a failure to study the environmental impact before leasing the project. It'll bring as many as 200 wind turbines, roughly eight miles from the shore. The group Save Long Beach Island wants the turbines placed further out to sea, arguing their placement won't just hurt the environment, but the tourism industry too. Ted Goldberg reports. Bob Stern knows what brings people to Beach Haven. Why do people come here in the first place? You know, sort of something natural, something pristine. They want to see that. It's kind of, you know, an escape. He's afraid that offshore wind farms will get in the way of that. And so are the 4,000 plus people who are part of Save LBI. It's a community group hoping to persuade politicians and private businesses to push turbines further out to sea. The site for this project is just not a good one. It was not chosen properly. Uh, it, it actually came into being uh, more than 10 years ago. Uh, there was no environmental study done then, and, and maybe even uh, worse than that, there was no public input to the process. Atlantic Shores is planning on building hundreds of turbines between 8 and 15 miles off of the Jersey Shore. According to their artists' renderings, it will be difficult to see turbines most of the time, unless you have perfect visibility on the shore. Stern isn't convinced that's the case. The one they did from Beach Haven, where we are here, uh, was done before there was lighting. It, it was pre-sunrise, so it was not a, a very useful uh, rendition. Stern thinks the wind farms will hurt tourism in communities that can see them, including Beach Haven, North Brigantine, and Atlantic City. He says a University of Delaware study confirms his belief. Researchers asked more than 1,700 beachgoers how they felt about visible turbines 12 miles from shore. 19% said they would not come and visit. If you're going to have to struggle to get rentals and with a 19% drop in tourism, uh, I don't know the exact dollar number that's going to reduce, but it's going to be a lot. Leaders in Atlantic City disagree. It's not a huge concern of ours. Michael Chait leads the Greater AC Chamber, and he thinks turbines might actually give tourism a boost. We have to have some real confidence in what our tourism industry brings to the table, dining, entertainment, hospitality. I can certainly see uh, charter trips out there to go see the windmills. Uh, you can see, you know, and, th and there's no data that supports this, but you can certainly see recreational fishing uh, I increasing as they, they form somewhat of an artificial reef. Save LBI argues the turbine should be 35 miles off the coast, far enough so you can't see them from shore, and an extra few miles to give migrating whales some space. The nonprofit filed suit in January to try and halt the project, which could start building turbines over the next two years. They seem to just marching along to this particular site and some others. Uh, so we felt we had to file a lawsuit uh, to try to get this done properly. Jennifer Daniels is a development director for Atlantic Shores, and she says the sites were approved by federal and state governments. We work with them on how we orient our turbines, how we space our turbines to ensure we allow the natural flow of traffic and fishing. And then we're also doing some research with those fisheries to understand um, how these species are going to be uh, producing and growing within our lease area over time. Chris Olith leads the think tank special initiative on offshore wind. She thinks Save LBI has an uphill battle in court. When a developer of an offshore wind farm secures a lease for the ocean seabed, they do not yet know what project they will put on that. It would be akin to you buying an acre of land and before you even knew what house or what you would build on that property needing to submit plans to the zoning board. The lawsuit is asking for an injunction against Atlantic Shores, which would stop the project. All eyes are now on the judge, who will decide if the case can move forward. In Beach Haven, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.